friends, how are you? My name is Ms. Thompson and I want to welcome you to a new school year. I am so, so excited to get started and I'm excited to get to know all you guys. This is going to be such a fun year and I cannot wait. So before we get started, who am I and what am I going to be teaching you? So I had said my name is Ms. Thompson. You guys are going to be seeing me once a week. And I will be teaching you social emotional learning. What's that? It's to teach you guys how to have feelings, how to play well with others, how to be problem solvers, because we have to be problem solvers. So it's just important, important ways of learning. And like I said, we have to know our feelings because sometimes we get sad or mad angry and we don't know how to control those feelings or how those feelings feel so i'm here to teach you all those things this year so i'm so excited like i said so i want to get to our lesson and i want to know about you guys i want to know your name because we have to get to know each other so i first want to hear your guys's name and then after we hear each other's names, I wanna do good news. Because I love to start the day off with good news because good news means we have great things going on in our lives. And when we know we have amazing things going on in our lives, that makes us happier. And when we feel happy, that's a feeling. So I love good news. So we'll be doing that after we introduce ourselves, okay guys? So first things first, we have to get to know each other. So, I wanna hear your guys' name and I want you to tell me one thing about yourself. It could be anything. It could be how many siblings you have, it could be your favorite toy, or just one interesting thing about you, okay? So, I'll go first and then you guys will go. So, like I had mentioned in the beginning, my name is Miss Thompson. And my favorite things to do is spend time with my family. I love to make memories and go on trips and spend quality time with my family. Okay, so I will give you guys a few seconds to think about what you guys could share. And then you guys will share with me, okay? So go ahead and put your thinking caps on. I want you to think, 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 okay? So are you guys ready to share? Remember, you're gonna tell me your name and something about yourself that you would like me to know or anyone else to know. So, are you guys ready to share? Go, share. I loved hearing all the wonderful things you guys wanted to share about yourselves. I'm so glad I got to hear all of your names and now I know a little something about each and every one of you because this is how we get to know each other. So now that we've introduced ourselves, now let's do our good news. So each day I will share my good news and then I'll give you guys a chance to share your good news as well. So my good news is that this past weekend I got to go out of town, I got to go to the beach and spend it with my family and I had the best time ever because I love to go to the beach. Okay, so now I want you guys to share your good news. And remember, it doesn't have to be something that just happened to you. It could happen this weekend or this past weekend or something you wish you could do. So I want you guys to take a few seconds and think about it. Put that thinking cap back on and I want you guys to share some good news with me. So go ahead and think, 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 think. What can you share with us? Go. Good job, you guys. You guys did an amazing job sharing it. I could tell you guys had so much fun sharing your good news. And that's why I love it because you guys get so excited to tell me all the good news and I love to hear what is going on in your guys' life. Okay, so now that we've introduced ourselves, we've shared our good news, now it's time to get into our lesson. 
So our first lesson of social emotional learning is how to become a better learner, also how to get along well with others, and our feelings. Because how do we become a better learner? When we're learning, what muscle are we using? Our brains, good job, yes, and our brains are right here. And when we're learning, our brains are getting bigger and bigger. And that's what we want. We want to become smarter and smarter. So we will be going over how to become a better learner because you guys are already good at being great learners, but we want to get even better. So yes, our brains are up here. And when our brains are working, we are getting smarter and smarter. And there are some times when we have to learn to play with others. There might be incidents or maybe you don't want to share a toy or maybe someone was mean to you, but we have to learn how to get along with others because we want our friends to be nice to us. So we have to learn how to be nice to others. And that goes into feelings because when a friend is not being nice, how does that make you feel inside? You're right, it makes you feel sad inside and we don't wanna feel sad, we wanna be happy. Because when we get along with our friends and other kids, we feel happy, we're excited. And those are the things that make us a better person. So, we are gonna play a little fun game. It's to build our brain and make it smarter, okay? So, give me a thumbs up if you are ready to play. Yes, everyone is ready. All right, guys, so go ahead and stand up. Okay, now that you guys are all standing, the game is called Follow, Follow. It's kind of like Simon Says. I'm sure you guys have played that before. So there's two rules. The first rule is I will be saying follow, follow. Once I say follow, follow, you guys will be following the motions that I do. That's the second rule. You have to do exactly what I am doing. So the first rule is you're listening for when I say follow, follow. And you have to listen to what I'm telling you guys to do. And the second rule is you're doing the motion. So it's not too hard, but in order to be successful, you have to pay attention. And when we're paying attention, we are becoming better learners and our brain is getting smarter. Okay, so now that I've explained the game, let's go ahead and get started. So, follow, follow, wave, sparkle. Good job, you guys. You guys did it. You guys waited for me to tell you what the motions were, and then you did them. Good job, you guys. Okay, let's go again. Follow, follow. Jump once, cover your eyes. Good job, you guys. You guys are doing amazing. So we will go one more time. So pay attention. Follow, follow. Snorkel, wave, snorkel. Good job, you guys. I added three things and you guys did all three. You know what that tells me? That tells me you guys were listening, using those brains, you guys did a great, great job. That tells me you are paying attention. Alrighty, so now let's go ahead and have a seat and let's get into our lesson because I have a couple of friends joining us. You guys ready to meet our friends? Give me a thumbs up. All right, I knew it. Let me get my friends. Friend, Puppy here and Puppy, it is his first day of kindergarten. He's so excited, he can't sit still, he's jumping around. His teacher was trying to talk to him and he's just talking, moving around, has the wiggles. I bet you guys were super excited on your guys' first day of kindergarten as well. But you guys know you guys can't be wiggling around. You guys have to listen to your teacher. So now we have to teach Puppy the listening rules. How to become a better learner. Because if we're moving around, are we learning? No, because we're not listening, we're not focusing. So we need to teach Puppy these listening rules. And I'm sure you guys know some of these rules too, but I will be teaching you guys the rules as well as Puppy. So are you guys ready to learn these listening rules so we can help Puppy be better in kindergarten? Are you guys ready? 
So Puppy's having a seat off to the side and he is going to be watching us and listening to these listening rules to become a better learner. So what do you think we are supposed to be doing when someone is talking? When we're listening, what should our bodies be doing? Go ahead and share. Yeah, you're right. We Our eyes have to be on whoever is talking. And are we supposed to be talking when other people are talking? No, we're not, because that means we are not listening. So let's go ahead and go over the listening rules. There's some motions to go along with it. So are we ready? So our eyes need to be watching. They need to be watching whoever is talking to us. It could be a teacher, your mom and dad, anyone. Anyone that is talking to you, your eyes have to be watching them. Your ears also have to be listening because if you're not listening, you don't know what's going on and you're not focusing. So our eyes need to be watching. Our ears need to be listening to whoever is talking to us. And our voices need to be quiet, which means no talking when someone is talking to us. So if our voices are quiet, how should our bodies be? You guys are right, our bodies are still. Because if we have the wiggles and we're all over the place, are we listening? No. So we have to be doing all these listening rules in order to really listen and to have all the information go to our brain. So let's go ahead and go over these rules again. Let's see if you guys remember and see if you are listening to me. So let's go over them. Eyes watching. Ears listening, voice is quiet, body still. You guys did a great job. You guys were listening to me and that makes me so, so happy. Good job, you guys. So now that we went over a few listening rules, now I have a little story for you guys. I want you guys to really pay attention to the story and focus on every detail because I'll be asking you guys questions, okay? You guys ready to hear my story? Let me see two thumbs up if you're ready. All right, let's get my story. Okay, you guys, so this is Michaela and this is her classmates and her teacher. I want you guys to look at this photo. What can you tell me about Michaela and her classmates? First, we are going to talk about her classmates. What do you notice about her classmates? Go ahead and think about this for a second and I will let you share. Yeah, you're right. They're following those listening rules because where are their eyes at? You're right. They're on Michaela because who is talking? Michaela's talking. So our eyes have to be on whoever's talking. Yes. And do we see how their mouths moving? Are they open? Are they talking? No, they are not. Their voices are very quiet so they can hear whatever Michaela has to say. What about their bodies? Are their bodies moving? Are they laying on the floor? Are they twirling their hair? Are they doing things like that? No, they're not. They are sitting crisscross applesauce with their hands folded. By looking at this photo, we can tell that Michaela's classmates are being good listeners and are following all the listening rules just by looking at them because their bodies aren't moving, their voices are quiet because their mouths are closed, their eyes are on Michaela, and how do we know if their ears are listening? You're right, because they're doing all the other listening rules. That tells us that they are hearing what is being shared, and that means they are getting smarter and smarter. You guys, good job, and I want you guys to always be practicing these listening rules as well. Because remember, if you're always listening and paying attention, what happens? You get smarter. And I have another question. Yes, her friends are listening and paying attention. So does that mean they're getting along well with their teacher and Michaela? 
Yes, they're getting along well because they're respecting Michaela because she is the one sharing. So that makes Michaela feel so happy and the teacher as well because everyone is being respectful, getting along, following the listening rules. So that makes everyone feel so good inside because they are listening to what Michaela has to share. And it makes Michaela feel good too because she knows her classmates are listening to her. Because don't we like when people listen? When we're talking, we don't want people to ignore us. That makes us feel sad inside. It makes us feel happy knowing that our friends are listening, right? You're right. So, like I said, it all ties in together. The listening rules, getting along well with others, it makes us feel good inside. And that's what's most important. Because are they also learning and getting smarter? They are, because they are hearing all the information Michaela has to share. So now that we went over what Michaela and her classmates were doing by following the listening rules, I want to see if you guys still remember those listening rules and the motions that go along with them. All right, are you guys ready to do them with me? All right, let's get started. Let's see. Eyes watching, ears listening, voices quiet, body still. You guys did an amazing, amazing job. So now, I'm only going to be doing the motions and I want you guys to be saying the motions out loud. Can you guys do that for me? All right, let's get started. And I'm going to do them out of order too to see if you guys really, really know the listening rules. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. Good job. Yep, body still. Voice is quiet. Great job, you guys. Ears listening. You guys got it. Let's see if you guys can get the last one. Eyes watching. Yes, you guys did great. That means you guys have been listening to me and you guys are focused. And that means you guys have been following all the listening rules as well as knowing them. Go ahead and give you guys a pat on the back. You guys are doing great. So since you guys have been doing such a great job, I'm gonna give you guys a little dance break. I know you guys have the wiggles, so let's go ahead and get the wiggles out. And once we are done with our dance break, I will launch you guys off and wish you a great day. So before we do that, let's go ahead and listen to a fun video. Go ahead and stand up, guys. Should do, but you dance, dance. 
How did you guys like your little dance break? Did you guys have fun? I hope you guys were dancing and having so much fun because I was dancing and getting all my wiggles out too. So now that our lesson is over for day, I wanna launch you guys off and wish you a great day. I hope you guys do all your schoolwork and I hope you guys are doing your listening rules that I taught you, not just in school, but all day long. Because when you're doing or you're following the listening rules, you are becoming a better learner. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.